And, and the Lakers are a desperate group. Let's face it, it's game number 72 for them, and if they were in the driver's seat, as Scott Foster, it's almost automatic they're in the top 10 in defensive efficiency. LeBron up against Nikhil. I, I say this all the time. Right. That, that's, the best player, that's the best player in the world. Nikhil. After Billy battled to keep it alive, Hernan Gomez, and now James oh. Johnson. I, I guess he saw a little bit of a lane inside of eight minutes to play. The Lakers try to finish the regular season with identical record, home and road. LeBron got there, and he's going to finish. <laughs> and it, you said it. You've got to run a double occasionally, don't you? Now remember, Anthony Davis hasn't exactly been involved with the offensive end, and you know he's going to get his. Six-point game. LeBron, he came down, but you can't call it travel on him. And it's a three for Dennis Schroeder. Najee Marshall. Trying to get by LeBron. He will. Gets the roll. Like I said, there, there's no such thing as an insignificant game for these young guys. Position right there. First turnover of the game for either side. And an easy take, LeBron. But yesterday in Indiana, in 28 minutes, he really looked like LeBron James. Yeah, he had a burst. There's no question about that. On the give, it'll be LeBron. A little pocket pass from Contavious Caldwell Pope. We're in New Orleans, Joel Myers, Antonio Daniels, Jen Hale. And the league got it right. Bledsoe gets the finish. The, the league definitely got it right. We'll be talking about tonight. Right now, Oklahoma City and the Clippers are tied. Backdoor run. Didi got burned. Didi Luzana, who just checked into the game, 35th overall. Uh, when LeBron and AD were out, Marcus Gasol available, takes the triple, and gets so, the three. So I guess Marcus Gasol trying to show us everything now, since we talked a little bit about him, huh? His Not ability bad. to pass, his ability to shoot it. Not bad for a 36-year-old. And he was disappointed. Good. Mid-range. Right now, the Lakers are getting into the action way too easy. Bledsoe with Billy Hernan Gomez. And Bledsoe gets a little 15-footer. Yeah, he, he's quietly put together three stops. So that's, that's what, what he, he does. Yeah, his activity pays off, and that's Anthony Davis does. follows it up. Caruso creates it. He's uh, You always need energy guys like that as he's trying to pick up a, a charge. Instead, he takes out a teammate, and Bledsoe burns him with a triple. Horton Tucker hasn't played yet. Nope. Montrez Harrell hasn't played yet. Bledsoe finds space and wow. finds the three. Morris hasn't played yet. This is the most under-discussed aspect. Great pass by Marcus Saul. Uh, under-discussed uh, topic of the season is the games that you have to play. From each other, quite frankly, for this entire time. And it's very, very difficult, as you know, AD, when you can't get away from it, when you can't take time for yourself, it's hard to recalibrate, particularly in a strength standpoint on the defensive side of the ball. But Nikhil and Jackson have distinguished themselves in a way that we expect a great deal from them moving forward. Playing in for seven is a little excessive. Um, if you are a seventh seed in the NBA, by and large, you are at least two games over 500 every year. One of the interesting aspects of what has developed for the Pels this year, and we've seen them over the last is Wes Matthews Jr. fills it up from three. He was a player they were very, very high on. And had he not actually had COVID before camp started, he might have been able to show himself a little more in training camp. He has an elite gift defensively, and he's also shown himself to be a very good playmaker and a capable shooter at this point. So he's a player we have a great deal of hope for in the future and are very excited when you're putting a team together and you want to be sustainable year after year. The finances come into the play, and obviously we feel very, very strongly about both these, those players, and we hope they're back again. And I think what our players and our player development staff are going to do or really focus on breaking down the film, watching where the moments, the learning teaching moments took place. Important to me is these younger guys, they're gonna have to take that step. It's unavoidable. You know, when you look at some of the better teams in the league, that's the second three to not. Can't forget about that guy. Jackson running the floor. Najee will find him for the little jumper. And all of a sudden, timeout Lakers with 4.04 to play in the half. Setting the screen and looking for the lob. And another poor diagonal. I, I tell you what, when you are playing the Los Angeles Lakers team, this is about the third time this happened this first half. You cannot throw the ball across court. He's been around a long time. He's in his ninth year, but you forget how young he is. Kyra Lewis moving off the ball. Jackson Hayes with a dime. And a four-point game. Buddy in the Johnson family, and there's a number of siblings. They're all black belts. It'll be Dennis Schroeder leaving it off for the easy one. Andre Drummond on the finish. Knew where he wanted to go, didn't he? Najee's real short uh -oh. and leaking out the tight end. He'll get the reverse this time. LeBron James on the finish. They used to tell us. For the Anthony Davis pick. 
Man on the back door run. I'll tell you. He too I, easy. Andre Drummond. But well designed. He's doing a great job of playing out of that dunker spot as well. Too easy. Andre Drummond. But well designed. He's doing a great job of playing out of that dunker spot as well. A lot of bigs don't really know how to do that. He's doing a great job. Nazi nice. Marshall. Great recognition. <laughs> I believe that's his fourth three-point shot. Yeah, it was, that, that's always a good thing when, when, when you can get a shot like that to fall going into halftime, especially when, you know, it's a it's a close game and, and we're playing them uh, decently well. Give it away. Another turnover is the tenth of the game. So the Pels were down by nine at the break. Points off turnovers, and you can make it 12 now. How the narrative around his triple-doubles have changed. Nice, nice, you good move. How the narratives around his triple doubles have changed. James Johnson kept it alive, took it away from Shrew. Right, there's no question about that. Billy said you didn't see that elbow to the chops before I hooked him. Uh -oh. LeBron and leaves it off. Billy did a good job. He was on top of the basketball with LeBron. Thought it was going to spin home. Nick Hill with Billy. Good decision. Good pass, yeah. Good pass, good touch. One point game, four minutes gone by at 70 to 69. Schroeder's got an easy one. And yeah, they make it to the premises. Nobody protecting the rim. Schroeder and Drummond will get it. Schroeder on the assist. I tell you what, I I've watched the Lakers play like since Andre Drummond's been there. And not turn the basketball over against good teams like this. That was good D on LeBron. And the good take, finish. a good one against Anthony Davis. Nikhil protected it with the left hand. I saw it on that five game road trip. How comfortable Nikhil was getting to that rim and finishing with the other hand. Look out below. There's that pocket pass again. They lost the Golden State game on the final possession without right. a real good look. They lost that by three. They played well on the road. Anthony Davis going hard to the hole. Out of the timeout, let's see what the Pels can do. They've been turning it over too often now in the third. Good bounce. Jackson Hayes on the hammer. Kuzma the step through to himself and a smart play. Smart step through by Kyle Kuzma. Now Caldwell Pope shares with Kuzma. Caruso on the run. Nice. Good take over. Kyra Lewis Jr. See, that's the thing. Like Golden State does. If the Lakers don't have something immediately, then they start to move the ball from side to side and force your defense to react. Caruso. And this is the result of it. Nothing there. And now you go into... What you're looking for. And don't fall asleep. Winyan Gabriel relaxed, and AD got the best of him. James Nunnally out there. And Jackson Hayes into the shot clock, deep three. Kyra gets it. Found a little rhythm there and makes it a 12-point game. We wondered if LeBron was going to come back, but you brought up a great point while we were away. Conditioning. Right. Getting back into game shape. Good run by Caruso. That's LeBron a, that, with a that's great, what I mean. He's great going to make, view mirror. He is going to make the right pass. Longer. And take it away by Kyra. Up against another speed guy, Dennis Schroeder, and he gets the finish. Boy, that was a pretty good collision between Wenyon. It was. Right. This team, this Pelicans team, have been doing what they've done all season long. They're resilient. They're hanging in there. It'll be LeBron. There goes that guy again. He's incredible. An 11 point game with nine to play. And it's still a 20 plus point game in Portland. LeBron on the run and on the finish. You see that, that Marcus saw, that's where he benefits this team so much. Control the tempo. James Johnson, good move. Nobody stopped the ball and Billy gets the finish. And I'm going to finish. Caruso slings it out for LeBron. We knew where that was going, right to the rim. Thank you, elbow the kill right in the face. Some guys get it early, some guys get it a little bit later. Great pass. In a zone, James Johnson had good interior passing. Down to eight. Now can they get stops? Horton Tucker gets the roll. Friendly rim on the road. What I like is the touches they have in half court. Sets. Yep, and that's what's hard to guard because this is what you end up with. Great take by Kyle Kuzma on the reverse. When Back to 13, easy. And we look forward already for next season. And I mean that sincerely. Because we saw enough.